Oh, hello. We're back in my kitchen because I am back home. And for this part, I'm going to be wearing and looking exactly the same for both of these videos because I just need to get the clips filmed. So here's a little bit of movie magic for those of you who, who may not have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars going to film school. So I'm going to be filming the beginnings of two videos right now, which is why I will look the same. But in real life time, so the actual timeline of what's happening as I am sitting here, I'm going to, after I finish the two intros, or my two daily Boma Moms, then I'm going to shower and, or I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat, film a mukbang, shower, and then do my Trader Joe's haul. And that's going to be the next two videos, so sorry for the spoiler, but I figured no one asked for that, so I would just explain it anyway. Here we are. Okay, day nine. Ooh, ginsa spread. What does that mean? I may be making myself look really dumb. I don't know if it's quince, ginsa. It's spelled ginsa, like quinceanera. I don't know what this is. I will probably have to Google it after I am done filming and really make myself look like a dunce, but I, I don't know what that is. So I'm going to try this really quickly. I don't have toast today. I'm just going to try it, but maybe I'll use it with something soon. So, <clears throat> hmm. It tastes strawberry-esque. I don't know. I have never heard of this in my life. Maybe it's, or is it like a pear? Okay, so I've deduced that the fruit itself is on the little, like, this part of the label. This looks like a pear. Hang on. It looks kind of like a pear. It's good. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Okay, so that's that one. Now let's get into a mukbang for today's video. Welcome. We're about to have us the coziest little mukbang that ever was. First of all, my dinner today, let me see, show you. These are the Tainan noodles and then some Trader Joe's vegetable gyoza. I just bought another bag because I was, I the open bag that's currently in my freezer was my last one and I'm not sure when the next time I'm going to Albuquerque is so I wanted to do a little restock but anyway, nobody be alarmed, I'm okay. <laughs> this is one of my go-to either like easy quick meals or if I'm feeling particularly low mentally, this is something I'll eat. I wouldn't say I'm low. I feel like the way that I, well, I feel about mid-range right now in terms of mental health. I've described it to Andrew as like feeling mid, but not in the way that like the youngins use the slang term, just in the way that I'm like pretty middle of the road. I'm not like happier than normal, but I'm also not in a little bit of a rut. Let's get us a bite here. Cheers. Of course, my sister is sending me like 10 TikToks in a row. So this is not the plan that I had for today, but I didn't really film anything while I was in Albuquerque. And it's for a couple reasons. First of all, I am trying to be better about being more present. And so I feel that it's not quite as conducive when I'm trying to spend time with my family to just like whip out a camera and start filming them. And some people ruin it for everybody and like... I'm a little bit weary of showing the kids or like more than a little bit just for their own safety and everything. So I just choose not, I chose, I should say rather, not to really film anything with my family while I was up there this time. And it was also a pretty quick trip. So it wasn't really a situation where like there was anything particularly fun to film <laughs> to begin with. but. It was great. I am so happy I got to go because I hadn't seen my niece and nephew since October and I like to see them about every month if not every other month. So if I hadn't gone now, I wouldn't have seen them probably until like sometime in January and that's too long. I just, I can't not see them for that amount of time. I'm also working on my bottle of water. So that's what I have as my beverage, you know, for this evening. And in case anyone was curious, these are what the gyoza look like on the inside. They're so good. I love these so much. You can put them in soups. You can actually, 
eat the oh I didn't get the f***ing scallion pancakes I was going to say that you can cook these in the microwave and I immediately remembered that I forgot to get the scallion pancakes while I was up there from Trader Joe's I'm very sad about it I gotta say too for a hot minute this was like my hyper fixation meal I would make these noodles like almost every day because they were just so good and it's gotten a little bit less but I do find that if I just need something quick or I'm not feeling great this always hits as well you can't see him because he wanted to be cozy but there is a baby dog sleeping next to me under the blanket also I'm not sure if I could pinpoint if it is an individual thing or it's just kind of like a cumulative thing but it's a little bit odd because Christmas is or the holiday season really is one of my favorite times of the year but I find that I'm just generally not super excited about it this year which if it wasn't really my thing I don't feel like I would feel any different but because normally I'm so excited for the holidays and this year it's just kind of like a little bit middle of the road for me I'm a little concerned about that but otherwise I feel okay I mean it still is hard to be able to see what's happening in other parts of the world and not really be able to do anything meaningful about it I just hope that something changes soon because this it just sucks Boom. Clean bowl club. I mean, I will never leave a noodle uneaten if I can physically help it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out and eating with me. If you ate as well, I hope you enjoyed whatever you had. Let me know in the comments what it was if you were also eating. I'm going to shower and then I will be back in real life time to film. But in the next video, you will be seeing my Trader Joe's haul. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Vlogmas. If you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe down below. And I will see you later. Good night, everybody. I'm going to be cozy. Bye.